Hey everybody, how's life treating you? I'm Russ Robo and welcome back to Legend of Korra. Now, something important to note, I finally figured out how talismans work. Uh, I want to show you real quick. I think it's to Korra's room. Okay. Um, Let's see what we have here. Look at these ones here. I have two talismans so far, but I didn't read the descriptions on them well enough apparently. Halves your health but doubles your experience. This will help you max out your bending quickly. Uh, but if you look in the upper left corner, I wish I could point at it, next to talismans, nope, well, can't use my mouse either, but look under the items equipped tab, you'll see talismans automatically effective when equipped to the uh, D-pad. So basically the moment you equip them, that's why I was sitting there pressing them, pressing them, pressing them, trying to use them to get them to activate. I didn't realize they were already active. That's why they were glowing. That's why I got so much spirit energy last time. And that's why um, I got so much experience last time. That's uh, You saw air leveled up t just twice. I just figured it leveled up twice really fast because it was already level 1 and there were so many enemies in the area. But apparently they were already effective. And it was good, but I'm thinking that it wasn't you know something that I want to risk with half health. But then again... Um, this one halves your attack power but doubles the amount of spirit energy you earn. Get rich fast. That one I do kind of like. So I'm going to sub that out for the T, I think. And then in this slot I'll have the Charge Crest. And then of course we've got our Oasis Water to heal us if we get knocked out. And then of course the Healer's Water for health on the go. We've got... Let's see, water style at level 6, earth style at level 5, uh, fire style at level 4, and air style at level 3. Now, from what it looks like, level 6 with water bending, I'm not seeing any locked abilities, like how fire style, earth style, and air style have the icons for the button attacks that you would normally press locked. Um, Water style appears to be completely unlocked, so I'm not sure about this, but it seems like level 6 might be the max. So I'm going to try to stick primarily to air, fire, and earth bending, which I do anyway, and try to see if I can't max those out and see, you know, what all I get in exchange. And of course, there are also different costume options, but I'm going to have to probably either unlock those or buy them from the Steam shop. Let's go and get them. <laughs> But without further ado, let's start chapter 6 and see what that's all about. Now last we left our hero, I had just been knocked into the spirit realm by force by one of the spirit enemies. Like, I guess it was one of the creatures. Cora said she wasn't going, yeah, see, SP that's times one 2 power, one half. Yeah, one way to make an entrance. Oh, this place is creepy as all get out. Uh-uh. We're firebending right now. Um... One of the things that Korra mentioned was that she wasn't going to be able to easily um, fight in this area without her spirit bending. So I'm imagining that the objective here is to try to get that back. Oh man, this is bad. I, I don't like them popping up out of the ground like that. Oh no. What's the old man? He knows you're here and he's controlling these spirits. They mean you no harm. Let the voice of the spirits guide you. Oh, you know. They mean me harm. Stun the spirits. Stun. Stun. Stun the spirits. How do I... I gotta stun. Okay, I got some health back. That's good. Apparently, uh, oh, I see. So, they get stunned, but you can't knock them out. So, it's best to switch to other ones whenever the ones you're targeting are stunned. I think I've only got one more left. So, these ones. I'm trying to wait for one of the ones that's going to pop up from underneath the ground. So that I can avoid them, but they don't have a lot of tell. Four out of six. Oh, dang it, they're only stunned for a little bit. Okay. 
So I'm gonna need to switch back to air style and go wild and just just go ham on them. Probably not best to have my eight. Free them from the old man's control. Oh. I'll fix this. So the B button to them instead of an automatic like big attack like how it is against the other enemies is spirit bending whenever you're up against spirits. Oh, that's so sweet. That'll make a good uh, um, chapter marker, good screenshot for the episode. Battle results, good. Ah, oh, good, and I've got good HP too. Oh no, look at the sky. Hmm. Something's really wrong here. You ain't it's gotta kidding. Be that old man. Hmm. How about? I don't know. I feel like I feel like being in air bending is just a safe bet. <laughs> from the very beginning because at that point let's say you're ambushed you have a method of dodging you know a, a method of escaping attack and then from then you can pick other styles oh I see let's see once they're stunned you can press the B button to like to to yeah purify yes nice Oh my gosh, it's so much spirit energy. Now, I guess, from the way it looks, it looks like I could actually ignore these enemies and just move on. But I sure am getting a lot of, um, like, energy, or at least a lot of chi. A lot of spirit. I mean, I'm getting rich fast. I could use this to buy equipable items that I need during boss fights. And this guy up in the air. Okay. Uh, purify him. Put him to sleep. There we go. And then there's you up here, up in the air. Gonna take, gonna knock you out real quick. Whoa, okay. Gonna take him down real quick. Well, not really take him down. It's like, peaceful. There's a lot of these things, though. I imagine I don't want to spend too much time just going back and forth, back and forth, taking them out. I imagine that that might be what's going on with... Oh, this uh, chapter is... The real question is not how many, how, how tough they are, but how many they are. Quantity over quality. Oh yeah, kick the heck out of that. Airbending! Oh, don't you worry, I know. Woo! I got me some good airbending attacks for opening up chests and uh, breaking through gates. Now we got our enemies over here that want to surround me all of a sudden. Oh man, this is going to be tough. Oh, uh, okay, can't have you guys up here doing your thing. Like you freaking little archers over here firing spirit beams. Now, it seems that I can double jump and then use the tornado that way. Um, that's really good, because I just noticed, yeah, there are a lot of, you know, tiny my enemies um, that would normally not be worth the time to take them down. But what, oh wow, I love that. But what we're really looking at here is a way to very quickly level up my um, different uh, bending techniques, you know? Because if water bending is level 6 from all the fighting I've been doing with it, this is a good opportunity to catch all of my other bending techniques up. Okay, so whenever I get the option for the B button, it's definitely best to press it because it apparently purifies all of the spirits that are currently near uh, critical damage. Now, air doesn't seem to be... air doesn't seem to work as much with charge as earth does. 
So, that's something important to note. Like, you can charge it a little bit, but it seems like the charge abilities with air are focused mainly on dodging. Which is basically what air is about, is dodging. And also, it's nice to have my full HP bar back. I mean, look at how much there is. Hey, I found another uh, area that we can... Uh... Ooh, ouch. I found another rock that we can bust through, I think. Yeah, I can get through that one. Now, I don't have to use earth bending, but I like it. I just like the way it looks when stuff breaks in earth bending style. Hey, 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 hey. I'm going to need you to chill out, sir. I'm going to need you to go in peace. Let's do this. Uh-oh. <clears throat> don't taunt the chicken. There we go. Okay, put him to sleep. Going now I think there's no more enemies in the area. I unlocked that chest. Now let's get this one. Love it. Oh, this one. It's a trap. It's a trap. It's a trap. Admiral Akbar, it's a trap. Told you. Oh, oh, oh. Go in peace. <laughs> yeah, peaceful like. Go in peace. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh, so much money. Money, money, money! Money! Alright. It's funny. Money is... Spirit is money on here. It's craziness. So, Earth Bending is level 5, Fire Bending is level 4, Air Bending is level 4, okay. Hey! Check him out. Or, um, what do you call it? Save Point. Uh, Check Point. Not Save Point. Okay. Airbending seems to be best against the... Oh! I thought I was high enough to really avoid that. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, I hate it when they all go up underneath the ground like that. I need an enemy that's close to getting knocked out so that I can use the D button on them. You guys just gotta be peaceful and go to sleep. Just go to sleep. Yeah, just it's just sleepy time. Sleepy. Everybody go goes night night. Everybody goes night night. Oh, that one's big. Ah, uh, that's a big one. No, you wouldn't say. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. I need. Ah, oh, man. Okay. Ooh. So, uh, just like with any other fight, we're going to have to learn the mechanics as the fight goes on. I don't want him that close to me. Why the heck is he that close to me? Get some health back. Man, this is rough. The difficulty in fighting him appears to be that the fact that the enemies... Okay, I'm going to fill up my chi charge attacks. If I was ever going to use them, now is the best time. Okay, earthbending is good, um, because it can also bust up the rocks nearby, which is free health. Uh, but there's also a drawback to it because this guy is so freaking huge, I can't see past him in order to know when I'm under, a, um, in danger. I'm gonna try airbending. Okay, got some HP back. That's good. Can't run, a, can't run away effectively. Dodge. Okay, with full charge gauges, it seems that air is probably best for this because it's like, oh, no. Nope. Okay, with full charge gauges, air is doing a lot of stuff. I just have to be make sure to dodge at certain times. Send some tornadoes after him, dodge, and then run away. Then relock on. 
Uh, and then send some more tornadoes his way. Dodge. Then run away. We lock on. Oh, jeez. See, he makes it impossible to actually see him. He's too big. Mm, okay. Gonna back up a little bit here. Dodge. One, two, three. Lock on. Dodge. One, two, three. Jump back, jump back, jump back. Oh, that's the danger. When he gets me in a corner like that. When he gets me in a corner. Okay, now he's backed up. Now we need a camera angle on him. Dodge. Okay, so when he backs up, he goes for a launch attack, which should be right about here. I'm gonna jump up and watch for his body. There it is. That's the launch attack. So then he throws out some minions. Launch attack. Oh, I didn't quite make it that time. So, launch attack. Then I'm gonna go up. Knock off, of, I think, three attacks. Well, avoid his launch. Then go back up. Get three attacks. Avoid his launch. Go to the side. This is actually good. I hate. I'm. I'm sorry that I'm narrating my. Oh, sorry. I'm way too far away from the mic. Dang it. I'm sorry that I'm narrating my attacks. But of course, as a playthrough guide, it's good to give players a strategy that they could use later on. So, I would recommend switching to air bending if it's be if you're best with it. Um, avoid his dodge. Go up. Knock off three or four good attacks. Then uh, avoid the launch. When he le when he starts walking back from you, he's gonna launch his body. When he gets close to you, it means he's gonna swipe with his arms. When he starts putting his arms up, it means he's about to summon some minions. And go back, avoid his attack. I didn't, but you should. Then you're gonna want to jump up, knock off three good attacks. He's gonna launch again and launch and up again. Let's see, and launch. Oh. See, I dodged into the attack. That was my mistake. I think I can finish him here, though. So I'm just going to go all out on him. There we go. Oh, you can also dodge behind him. If you let him get close enough, though, there is that danger, of course. So I'm going to take... There we go. Oh, nice. I'm glad I didn't Going use my healing item, because it seems like I might get a healing item for this. Hmm. Sorry about that. Goodness, let's switch to Earth and see if any of these rocks can give us... Yep, there it is. Some health. Earth just destroys rocks so quickly. There we go, we're good now. Alright, now, we need to figure out which way to go, and I need to stop backing up from the mic. I'm gonna say, if that's the way I came in, we're trying to head towards this giant beam of light on the tree, so I'm gonna say it's this way. Gosh, man. Yep, gotta be this way, because I haven't busted through this earth barricade yet. There we go. Bust through that bad boy. Uh, it's probably gonna be yeah, some traps. Always traps. Oh, gee, nope, nope. Not even gonna be about those surrounding me games. Oh, jeez. Nope. Oh my gosh, come on. Okay, so... Okay, we're... We're purifying a couple of them. There we go. Anytime I can get one of them knocked in a corner. I can't get enough of these guys. Oh yeah, you can. Don't taunt. 
Okay. That's another good thing to note is it appears when we Go in peace. purify the enemies, we're uh, immune to knock up and knock back and all that good stuff. Bring it. Oh, I meant to purify. I taunted by accident because I already I had already knocked him out. Kind of a douche move, but hey, whatever. Okay. Whoa. Nope. Out. All right, sir. You're getting the earth. Get stomped. <laughs> he landed on top of my own pillar. There we go. I think he's out now. There we go. Good metal on that one. Good, good, good. Getting lots of spirit energy that I can use later on. Let's see now. Now, it always recommends to attack these really quickly, but sometimes with Earth, then you gotta wonder about that. Oh, nice. Hmm. I already have all these items. I wonder, I bet I can. S well, I don't have all of the. I that looks like a nest. It probably is for those birds. Now, I don't have all of the items, all of the items. Oh, this guy. Really? This can't be real. Oh, uh-uh. Ew. I'm not gonna say what those look like. All right. Now. Oh boy. I think I'm gonna call it here after that last boss fight, and it'll leave a good point to start off on the next one. You know, something exciting to leave off on. So. Thanks everybody for joining me on this episode, had a lot of fun, and until t next time, take it easy my friends!